Hey, good morning. Today we are going to review Word Lesson 4.1, Midterm Exam Schedule. So this is, this is what the directions look like. It's a midterm exam schedule. We're starting to work with tables. Okay, these are a lot of the, the tools we're going to use. The table button, the, changing the heights, doing the cell alignment. Okay, and these are the instructions. And as always, this is, tells you, page three shows you what you're going to type in to create and you're going to follow the instructions and this is what it's going to look like when you're done okay so the first thing if we go to the instructions first thing it says is create a new document and then you're going to insert a table six by six rows and then enter in the text so i've already done that so let me show you what that looks like so this is what it looks like a couple of things the heads up that i always start a couple rows down don't put the table at the very top because then it's hard to put in a title so just hit return a couple times then to insert this, you basically you're just going to go up to, if you have a blank page, go up to insert, table, and then you can actually draw a table out. So if you want to do six by six, it tells you that's that. Or if you're not, if it's bigger than what these squares show, you can insert table and then manually change it to whatever you want. So you can do as many columns and rows as you want. Obviously, you want to fit it on a piece of paper. Okay, so I've already done that. I've typed everything in here. And now I'm going to follow the instructions to get this to where they want it to be. Okay, so I am starting on instruction number six. So it says select row one and do the following. Okay, so from the table tools, line maker, change the cell alignment to a line center. Okay, so I'm just gonna so you notice there's no there's nothing up here. If I click in the tables, now all of a sudden this table tools shows up. Here's where design and layout are. So if I'm outside the table, there's nothing there. As soon as I click in, that shows up. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my layout tab. I'm going to select. I'm going to select the entire table. This is change the cell alignment to a line center. Alignment is right here. I just click on the center one here. It's going to change it to align the center. So everything's centered within each box. Okay, now I'm going to I'm going to keep this highlighted. Within the layout tube, there's also right here, which changes the height and width of the cells. So since all of the whole table is highlighted, whatever I do will change everything. So the width, I want this to be 0.75, so it's 0.75 and hit enter. It's going to automatically change it. And then the height, 7B, so it changes it to 0.4. So this is going to be 0.4, enter, and it changes it to right there. Okay, so that's done step seven. And then step eight says I should center and bold the title. So I want to highlight the title here. I'm going to go back to my home key, I'm going to center, and I'm going to bold, and change the font to stencil and font size 18. So I'm going to go up here to change my font. So here's stencil, where I could go all the way down to the S's, I just happen to be up there, and then I'm going to change this to 18. Okay, and that is what it looks like. Now, the key is this is where you're going to start 4.2. So you would save this as your final 4.1. And you would say submit that in Schoology, but you would also do file, save as, and save it as 4.2. Okay, so change your number here to 4.2 and 2 because you're going to use this to start as your starting point for 4.2. Okay, so hopefully that helps you just solve 4.1. Any questions? We'll let me know. Thanks.